Hey, 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 it's Sunday night. Yep, it's time to focus our energy for the week. So come on in. I'm Terri Ann Hyman, owner and founder of Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Program. I like to take this time on Sunday night to kind of bring our energies back in to give us some focus for the week as we move forward. I know that Sunday can be a little bit, um, you know, anxious, anxiety, the week's coming ahead. So I like to take this time to just kind of bring our energies together, focus what we have coming on energetically, cosmically. We've got a big week this week. Yes. So come on in, take a few moments with a little meditation, focus our energy, as well as do a reading. So if you would, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up when you come in. Hey, Jessica, I see you. Come on in. Give me a thumbs up and actually press share for me. Go ahead and share this for me. That would be very, very helpful. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take a moment and find it in the feed. It always takes a few minutes to come up. And then I'm going to share. And if you would do the same, that would be great. We have a really big week coming up. We're changing seasons. We're moving through the, the brightest day and the darkest night as we move through this week. So come on in and we're going to talk a little bit about that energy for the week. Take a moment and go ahead and share this for me. It'd be really great. I always have a hard time finding it. Okay, here we go. I found it. I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it to my group, the Empowered Spirit Circle. That's on Facebook and I'd like to invite you to that group. Please come on over and join us in the group. I've actually got some really great offerings I'm going to be offering as we move into the summer i been doing a lot of Akashic readings, and I'm going to be offering some of those just for those that are in my group. So do join us. Come on over. Find us. I'm going to share it there. I'm also going to share it in a video uh, group, too. So come on in. Give me a moment as we align our energy. It's coming up on 7. We're going to start then. Talk about the week ahead of us. How is everybody doing? How was your week this past week? I know we came out of the full moon last week. A lot of big intense energy. And now we've got another week ahead of us here too. And we're going to talk about that. One more. There we go. All right. Yay. So, okay. Yay, Tina. Thank you for joining me. I see you. Yay, Tina. Thank you for giving me that thumbs up. I appreciate it. Let's me know the world is alive out there. So come on in and just take a few moments to refocus your energy for the week. I'm going to light a little sage. I'm going to talk about the week ahead that we're having. It's going to be intense. Like I said, the longest day and the darkest night are coming in this week, the shortest night and the dark of the moon. That's what makes it a little bit more intense. So come on in. Be sure to share. As we open up to the energy for the week, got about another minute before we begin. So give me a thumbs up. How was your week? How many people enjoyed the weekend, right? We had beautiful energy, beautiful sunshine down here, a lot of clouds. We're actually moving through a thunderstorm right now. And that is kind of in alignment with the week that we've had, kind of like that energy, that up and down. Yeah, did you notice it too? Has it been intense for you? As we come to the very end of spring and we move into summer, what have you noticed? What have you noticed about your energy? What have you noticed about the shifting light? Yeah, let me know. Post your comments below so I can know. Yes. All right, it's 7 o'clock. Here we go. Take a nice deep inhale. <sighs> and exhale out. I know Sunday's for me. I don't want the weekend to stop. I want to just keep going, especially now with the beautiful sunshine in the days. I was up at the lake this weekend. How about you? Do you feel the same way on Sunday? Do you feel a little anxiety about starting the work week? Did you want to stay out and play like I did? Yeah, let me know. The energy that we're going to move into this week, all right? If we've got a little bit of that longest days, the days are getting longer. And then we've also got the dark of the moon. We've got a new moon on Saturday. So a couple of days before that new moon is always what they call the dark of the moon. So we've got that light and darkness that we're going to be playing off of, right? We're going to start the week out pretty full, pretty good, feeling strong. We're going to move into the summer solstice. Yay, I love the summer. Give me a summer if you like this summer too. We're going to move into the summer solstice, which they call that the longest day of the year, on Wednesday. And we're going to cross over into a new season. 
So I like those seasonal changes. How about you? Do you like them too? For me, it's a way to realign my energy. For me, it's a way to go ahead and look at that first season that we've been through and see where I am. See what's going on. So spring is all about planting our seeds, doing our projects, putting all those ideas out into the world. So that's where we are right now. I was working in the Medicine Well Summer. Medicine Well is a way to look at your spirit and your life. Look at the wheel of life of where you are. So we've come to that first segment where we're crossing from spring. Wednesday we'll be crossing into summer. So the summer energy is all about now maturing and letting things grow and allowing. That's the big word for summer, allowing, having fun, letting things to ripen. All those things that you put out for the spring, all those projects, new ideas, or refuel the energy of what you're doing. And now we kind of cross over. Now we enjoy the light. We get outside. We bring our energy out there. And we let those things grow. So it takes a little bit of patience sometimes in summer to sit back, and to allow, and that's the energy we're going to be feeling as we move through this week. Allow the things to guide us. There is a little bit of that letting go that we need to do, right? As we always go through the season, it's a good time to kind of burn away what didn't work. We take a moment and we look at that. What didn't work during the spring? Because guess what? We can let it go. We can just get rid of it and let it go. We can burn it. We can do a ceremony. We can just send it back to spirit. Let that energy be transformed. And now we move into a new season. That's a great opportunity to realign your energy, to come back into the center, to really kind of take all that judgment off of yourself, to give yourself a break, to offer gratitude for what you have already created. That's the energy we're following this week. Come back into alignment, realign your path, reset your diets, right? Summer diet is a little different than spring diet. So when we move through these transitions, it always allows us to do that. It allows us to kind of huh, come back to neutral. How does that feel for you? Do you like that too? Do you like to have that feeling of, okay, let me reset. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Is that feeling good for you? Neutral, reset, or does it like kind of, let me just carry all along the energy. I think that we feel better when we reset our energy. It also helps us to sit back and to really see what we've accomplished over the last part of the season. Sometimes we can just go and go and go and go, and we don't have that opportunity. So I like the seasonal changes for that as well. Do you like that too? Have you noticed that for yourself when you come to a new season, as we will this week, that you're able to reset your energy and open up to an even deeper part of who you really are? All right, so let's just take that idea coming in. We look at also, too, as we go into the um, end of the week, Wednesday is that solstice, and Thursday and Friday is kind of what we call the dark of the moon, because we have a new moon, all right? And that new moon is those new ideas, but before we get there, we have to kind of look at there. So that always reminds us of the shadow energy, all right? It reminds us to look at what is that darkness inside of us, all right? We don't have to be afraid of it. We don't have to be shameful of it. All right, especially in the summer when there's so much brightness out, we can use that bright light, the longer days, to help us look at those darknesses. You know, I, I um, was up at the medicine wheel yesterday with a friend of mine. She was helping me to finish up that last path, the cardinal pass, and we were picking up rocks, and she said a thing about, she said a thing about, oh, there's another fairy hole. There's another fairy home. And like, I kind of didn't quite understand. I was just seeing holes in the ground, right? And then later when I heard her again, it's like I kind of realized what she was talking about. She was seeing those holes as like places where we held magic, right? And it got me to thinking as I'm walking around the world, it got me to thinking about my own life and places where I hold kind of darknesses or where I feel like there's a little hole in me or I'm not perfect, right? We all have that. Do you? <laughs> Do you notice that? And it got me to thinking, well, what if I turned that around and looked at it the same way? What if I could look at those holes about myself as places that held magic? And what if I could use the light to come in these next few days when the light is the longest days to shine that magic and to let go of feeling any kind of shame or disappointment in my life and let it go and open up as the summer opens up, open up to the magic that we can create in our own lives. How does that feel for you? Would you like to open up to the magic? Give me a magic. Give me a thumbs up for that in your life as we move through the summer. 
So tomorrow, my radio show, Empowered Spirit Show, my guest, Cordelia, has created a beautiful deck of oracles and winged horses. Now, she told us, the interviews that was pre-recorded, but it'll air tomorrow. She told me that she didn't make it real fairy and foo-foo and woo-woo and all that, but she made it to really get to those places that we hold that shame and that guilt to really open up to that place in us that can empower us to step forward into our path. So we'll be talking about that tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. Check it out. It's at 12 Central Time. You can find it on PoweredSpiritShow.com. Find the replay. Come listen in. Because that will give you more information and guidance on how you can move through this energy too as we move through this week. All right? So just take a nice deep inhale as you begin to align the energy. What I'd like to do is do a card reading and then we'll focus the energy. So just take a nice deep inhale, close your eyes for a moment wherever you are. I like to ask kind of like, all right, for this week, what's the nice right action that you can do? I'm going to draw four cards. I'm actually working with the Wild Unknown. All right, it's a beautiful deck. Kim Kranz is the, the originator of it. And very interesting. I'm just learning. It is a tarot deck. The images are beautiful. All right. Oh, we drew this yesterday. The first card up is the Knight of Pentacles. So that's our anchor card. And that card is all about being strong in who you are. Pentacles is our earth. Pentacles is our grounding, is our money. And this is somebody that is mature and has built their work. So you can feel that about the way you come into the end of spring. Be strong in your work. Look at the antennas or the antlers. Look at the color. That brings a lot of wealth and a lot of knowledge. And sometimes we can feel like, oh, my life is boring because I'm so strong and I do what I'm supposed to do because it's a very responsible feeling. But there's a lot of power in that. There's a lot of wisdom in holding that energy for you and for others. So remember that as we move through the week. That's the card we're going to anchor into to seeing as we start this week. The next card that comes up, all right, so here's our shadow, is the five of, let's see how we can see it, the five of cups, all right? Kind of hard to see. There we go. Five of cups. It's a horse. So cups are hearts and five is change. So this is a little bit about sadness and despair in our lives. So where, maybe even disappointment. So where can you let that go from the spring? And to me, it reminds me to say like, okay, what didn't, what didn't work for you this spring? Where do you feel a little disappointment in your own life? Or maybe even where were you a little too judgmental and critical? And that's what we want to let go. That's what we want to burn away, all right? Any of that sadness or that despair of something not working out from the spring as we go to move into this new season. Because the next card that comes up, I love this, is the Eight of Pentacles. You see this spider web. All right, this is all about the craft, building that craft that we have, getting really good at what it is you're doing. And that is all about the summer energy. We sit back, we watch it, we design it, we just kind of, we've already designed it, we kind of let it grow. So that's all about, the Eight of Pentacles in normal traditional tarot deck is all about getting really skilled at what we do. Now sometimes, and maybe this will be for you, sometimes this card can come in to represent that you might need a new hobby. All right, maybe something, a new hobby, something that you want to do, and now's the time to do it and get really good at it. This is all about getting really good at your craft, which is a perfect card as we move into the summer. Sit back, watch things grow that you've planted. And the next card is a beautiful card, too. I love this. The Ten of Cups. All right, this card here is just really beautiful. The way they show all that connection, all the rainbows of light and color and everything lining up. It's a very positive, a very radiant card. So as we move through and into the new season, this is a great card to remind us of all those positive things that can happen in your life as you move through this time. All right, so the only shadow here, the darkness, is really kind of that despair card here, the Five of Cups. But with despair... And with owning up to the sadness brings change and growth. And that is all about the summer energy. Growth is what the summer is. The season that we look to the south, the growth, the long days, the being out there. And that's what that will help us to do. So anchor your energy in that wisdom, in that security of the earth. Mother Earth is always underneath us. Have that wisdom. Sit in your own wisdom and let that, that ability to be abundant and fruitful in your life come forward as we move through and into the summer season. So just take a nice deep inhale and exhale out. Let's take a minute and focus our energy before we go. So feel your feet flat on the floor. 
And just bring that breath all the way up the body, through the crown, up into the heavens. And exhale, bring it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Feel the feet flat on the floor. And inhale that breath all the way back up through the crown in the heavens. And exhale, bring it all the way back down, deep into the earth. And just imagine a crystal ball right above your head. And begin to see your name in that crystal ball in red. Visualize it, pretend, imagine. And begin to call back all your energy that you've scattered, all the many people that you've seen and come in contact. Call all your energy back into that crystal ball. Continue the breath, inhaling. And exhale as you attract all of your energy, all of your focus. Centering your energy back into you. Feel the feet on the earth as you continue the breath up the body. And exhale, send it back down. One more time. Inhaling. And exhaling. Now I want you to imagine that crystal ball opening up. You can reach up. You can imagine putting a hole in it and let all of your energy you've collected it up there in that crystal ball come down into the auric field filling in the aura filling in the chakras centering all of your energy all of your energy as we move forward into the week feel that energy coming in collecting and just take a moment and drop into the heart energy inhaling and exhaling now as you open that breath from the heart open it out from the heart send it out in front of you Expanding and exhale, sending it all the way behind. Dropping into the heart. We let go of the ego. Coming into the heart. Finding that place of love and light for yourself as you move into this week. The little last part of spring. Crossing over into the summer. And enjoying that ability to come back into center, to realign your body, your mind, and your spirit. Inhaling and exhaling. Be empowered by the shadows. Let that light come in and shine. Let that be your lessons and your growth. That is how we move forward. And that beautiful wheel of life. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Feel yourself grounding. Feel all of that energy coming, releasing that crystal ball now. Let it go. Feel yourself in your heart. Feel that opening up as you move through this week. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. And just bring in your awareness back. And just notice this week as you move through where you can be strong and all the knowledge and all that worldly information you've collected, where you can let go of that grief or sadness from the last season as you open up and allow your skills and your craft to build and magnify and grow as we move to, into the summer season. And then know that positive energy is all around you. That infinite potential is there for you as you open your heart out into the world. Inhaling. Feel yourself focused and centered as you go into the week. And exhaling. Come find me over at the Empowered Spirit Circle. It's a Facebook group. Join my group. I'm going to be offering some energy assessments coming up this week for the summer. I'm going to be offering some Akashic Record readings. Yes, as I finish up that part of my certification, I have some extra bonuses to offer. But you only find that in my group, the Empowered Spirit Circle. All right, everybody, have a great week. Thank you for joining me. Share this with someone else that you know that may need a little more centering into their life and a little bit of guidance for the week ahead. Have a great week. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the hearts and the thumbs up. Find me, Empowered Spirit Circle, to your spirit. Namaste.